care. This one in Chile, known as Cerro Unitas, at over 300 feet high, is believed to be the largest representation of a human-like figure in the world. Who carved it and why remains a mystery. Half a world away in the United Kingdom, other giant figures stare up into the sky. This one is known as Cern Abbas near Shaftesbury. Cut into the chalky hillside, no one knows how long ago, it may represent the mythical hero Hercules. 160 miles away, the long man of Wilmington, 280 feet from head to toe. It emerges from the English hillside like a giant god from another era. Britain is crowded with such sights associated with giants. An authority on English folklore and the giants of Britain is Jennifer Westwood. In the beginning, in Britain, it was inhabited only by giants. And in those days, it was called Albion. And after the fall of Troy, a hero called Brutus came here with all his men and decided to conquer Albion. And so they battled for a bit with all these very savage giants. And they slew most of them. But there was one called Gog Magog that they kept alive, 12 foot high. And he had a wrestling match with the Duke of Cornwall called Coronaeus. And first one got the upper hand, and then the other got the upper, ha upper hand, and then Gog Magog broke some of Coronaeus' ribs, and he got so enraged that he just picked up this 12-foot giant, and he ran to the coast, and he threw him over the cliff, and the giant was smashed on the stones below, and his blood stained the rocks red. Giants also figure in the mythology of Stonehenge, arguably the most famous megalithic structure in the world. These massive standing stones, the largest 30 feet tall and weighing 50 tons, were erected here thousands of years ago. The early Britons called the stone circle the Giant's Dance and believed giants had built it. Who really built Stonehenge and how they did it are enduring mysteries. Perhaps in the end, we have to turn to legends for an answer. This was somebody in the past with a technology that we don't have, or a magical skill we don't have, creating these things. The spiral-shaped Gilgal Rephaim is situated in the Golan Heights, 50 miles from Damascus. Constructed from an estimated 40,000 tons of loose rocks, it is remarkably reminiscent of Stonehenge. Both have been dated at around 5,000 years old and have similar megalithic stones. And like Stonehenge, Gilgal is also said to be associated with giants. Only in this case, there's biblical text which seems to support the claim. Israeli archaeologist Daniel Herman is investigating the newly opened grave. This is a tomb of someone obviously a very powerful man. Look at the size of the stone slabs used. This must have taken an enormous amount of time and effort to construct. When the Israelites came here and wrote their Bible, it was already here, they saw it. So they have documented the identification of the site by saying that this region was ruled by Og, king of the Bashan. Og is described in the book of Deuteronomy as, and I quote,